Hello everyone. Right now in Frontier, it's 1.20 p.m. on Tuesday, November 9th, 2021. This is here with a fresh batch of shoes, socks, and bags for sale. If your footwear is getting thin, or if you want to treat yourself to a new bag, be sure to stop by the plaza. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Oh! You previously used Nook Miles to obtain the Pro Decorating License, but Paradise Planning let me know that they would like to cover instead. I've refunded your 2,500 miles using them, uh, 2,500 miles. Use them on something fun. That's a thing that can happen? Yeah, okay! Also, hi, welcome to Tuesday. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do today. I think just more or less the same thing that I've been doing. KK Moody already have that. Never mind. Alright. Oh, is nobody here today? No. Nobody's here. Well, sounds like the perfect day to call up a friend. And I got just the friend I want to call. This is the Amiibo for Digby! Are you sure you'd like to contact this customer? Yes, I am! Please wait while we process your request. I just want to say, I love the fact that the Animal Crossing Amiibo figures were specifically designed for uh, Amiibo Festival, which is a garbage Wii U game that I actually don't own. But yet I own every single Animal Crossing Amiibo. And fun fact! Digme was originally bundled with uh, Amiibo Festival. For the longest time, that was the only way you'd be able to get in a, a, a Digby Amiibo. So you're probably asking yourself, Blues, how do you own a Digby Amiibo if you don't own Amiibo Festival? Simple, I waited until you could buy the Digby Amiibo separately and then I bought that. I'm not buying a garbage Wii U game for the sake of an Amiibo, but I'll buy a garbage 3DS game for the sake of an Amiibo. Actually, now that I realize it, I can't even make that joke. I own the Chibi Robo Amiibo as well, but yet I don't own Chibi Robo Zip Flash. I realized uh, that Amiibo was also bundled on its own if you bought it on Amazon. Also, Isabel's here with Digby! This is perfect! As uh, Digby is a character, for those of you who have only played New Horizons, you may not know who he is. Are you noticing a theme with the Animal Crossing Amiibo that I'm using right off the bat? Digby is Isabel's brother. In uh, New Leaf, he was the manager of Happy Home Academy. Um, he would actually show up. I believe the uh, Happy Home Academy had like a separate area where you could visit people's houses that you street passed. And Digby was the one who ran that. Uh, but obviously, since Street Pass isn't a thing on the Switch, Nintendo, why is that not a thing on the Switch? Seriously, like, it's a portable system. Give us Street Pass on the Switch. That's such a genius idea. Of course, because Nintendo doesn't like money. Uh, but yeah, so that's why Digby's not here. Thank you so much for inviting me today. And Isabel's just enjoying a cup of coffee with her brother. I wish I knew what it was like to have siblings that enjoy your company. Hey, my brother was going to stop by today, so I decided to tag along. I'm just going to have my coffee and leave. Yeah, I guess if it's not obvious, I don't have the best relationship with my siblings. Um, my older brother, I don't even know if that guy's still alive. I haven't even talked to him in almost a decade, and my younger sister doesn't care for me, so I usually keep to myself. Man, why am I getting the most sentiment over a cafe? Oh, that is heavenly. It's rich and balanced with subtle floral notes. I'm in love. Oh. 
Starting tomorrow, you're... Oh, starting tomorrow, you're welcome to come around and order at the counter to the right. You can order coffee to go from there. Oh, that's cool. I can carry a cup of joe with me on the go. But I'll stick with sitting at the counter. All right. First things first. Got to give ourselves a new haircut. Let's do it. God, give me something I'm actually going to like. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate it, but it's still not a hairstyle I like. It's definitely the It's definitely my favorite out of the 3, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Yeah, definitely definitely How do you you have the same paintings? The exact same paintings from yesterday. All right, since you don't have any new paintings, we'll do the we'll do the raffle. Yes, raffle. Do it. 500 bells. What do we got? Number 28. That's fate. No library is complete without a pocketbook. Oh, cute. You're natural at this. Nah, I'm good. Uh, I'll, I'll stick with just one a day. Also, oh, that's interesting. I was curious about this. So apparently, if there is a villager that can show up on Harv's Island, if they're on your island, they won't be here today. That's a neat touch. I like it. All right, what do we got? Potatoes and wheat again. All right, nothing new I want to do, so let's talk to our good pal Tortimer. Hey, yeah, uh, I got someone I'd like you to meet, Taryn. This is Tortimer, specializes in delivering and holding your belongings. So this is what you started doing when you got out of retirement. That's not all I do. <laughs> I was there when this one here was still wearing doggy diapers. Ah, uh, anyway, the name's Tortimer, and I suppose Harv's here to correct. Here is correct. I'm here to manage your belongings. Whether you're sending them to your house or receiving them from who knows where, I'm your tortoise. I just couldn't stay retired. Now with the whippersnappers out here making me feel old, I'm still in my prime. Hey, I'll see you around, kiddo. I told old Tortimer that he was welcome to just relax and enjoy the place, but, well, you see, he had different ideas. Good luck with everything, and I'll see you around. Yeah, so fun fact about Tortimer. In the uh, previous Animal Crossing games, he was the mayor. Up until Animal Crossing New Leaf, uh, he took that role, and then he retired in New Leaf. You became mayor of your own town, and just went from there. Hello, good friend. Accept your donations from a merchant topping rugs and mysterious wallpapers. I believe this is Sahara. We've already seen Sahara, so I don't need to explain anything that she does. Not that my explanation would be good, but you get the idea. Alright, we reached our donation goal! As per usual, which means the last one should be... I think her name's Katrina. She's the fortune girl. The fortune teller. Fortune girl, fortune teller, same thing. Anyways, I'm going to work. All right, who are our potential clients for today? We've got Nightmare Fuel, Lucy. What would life be if I could relax like this forever? It's not a hard, okay. Ooh, you look like a generic peacock, but I love that. Julia, or Julia, Julia. I don't know, I love your colors. You're just a generic peacock, but man, peacocks are adorable. Pudge. But you'd need a breakfast house, too, and a snack time house, and a laying on the floor burping house. Oh, okay. Oh, go! 
Okay, go! Billy! Ah, I get it. I get it. It's a good joke. So I like this deer. Deirdre. Show the perfect island for my vacation home out there. What else? There's gotta be. Uh, nobody I'm really resonating with. Although I did notice that yesterday, you can actually go to the back of the island and see more villagers you can help out. So, uh, let's check them out. Oh, Megan! I'm so glad I'm getting a chance to thank you for your help with my vacation home. It's a perfect spot for me to get cozy and read books under my vacation lamp. Oh, she's... Wait, what? Oh, she gives you a thing! Blue striped wall. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have that, but that's cool! Oh, so the villagers we've helped are on the back of the island. Well, that is cool. Taryn, darling, what I can do for you? How are things? On vacation, home keeps me surprisingly busy, fussing over every little detail. This kind of busyness isn't unpleasant at all, you know? On the contrary, it's quite fun. I like that. I like the detail that you can visit your, uh, the people you've helped on the back of the island. Man, I want this skateboard. I won't buy it. I was contemplating on it. I was like, yeah, I don't like the colors. But then I realized I can just go to Cyrus and get it recolored. Anyways, let's go to work. I think I got an idea as to who I'm going to help out today. I think I'm going to help out Julia. I hope I can get something good from her. I want to I wanna stretch my creativity out a little bit more. That was actually one of the things that uh, I wanted to talk about before, but I think I got distracted. One of the things that I'm noticing about these uh, early houses, and I think it's nice that they allow you to remodel the houses later on, is that I'm not able to stretch my arms out as much creatively because it's like, man, I want to add a partition wall here. I want to add this here. I want to add that here. And it doesn't let you because you don't have those options at the moment. You have to keep modeling homes to get more options. And it's a little frustrating. I just want to uh, I just want somewhere to hum and strum on my guitar. Oh yes. Oh yes, I'm helping you. There's the point in my life where I'm quite successful and I'd like to enjoy a vacation home. Let's do it. All you need to do is say the word guitar and I'm in. Man, I need to play my guitar more. I'm so excited to discuss the details of my home with you, darling. Darling! My ideal vacation home would be something along these lines. A place to enjoy my guitar. Well, that's very nice. I really like your concept. It's a guitar and nothing more. Alright, now the next step is for you to choose an island for the client. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. I, mm, D1 just is calling to me because I can just imagine Julia just sitting on the, on the harbor or on the dock, just, just strumming her guitar. Yeah, I like that. Man, that sounds wonderful. If you can make it happen, then I can't wait to see it. Now, Julia. We found an excellent location for you, but you'll need to see it for yourself before we begin. Taryn, please lead Julia to the site. Best of luck. Oh, what a wonderful vacation home. Seeing with my own eyes? Well, it's stunning, darling. I'm on pins and needles to see what you'll do with it from here, darling. Alright, first things first. Gotta do the exterior. Not gonna do anything extravagant. I think I'm just gonna do something similar to what I did with Roscoe's area.
you know, now that I look at the uh, finished product of the exterior, I think the one thing that I like the most about it is this setup right here. I just really like the concept of Julia being, like, being a musician on the internet and using her vacation home as, like, a fun little filming spot. And so, like, on one dock, she's got her camera set up, and then on the other dock, it's actually her, like, filming with the ocean next to her. That sounds like such a cool concept. I really wanted to go with that. What? 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 Huh? What the hell does Nico want? Sorry, you just need a moment of quick supervisor to design her console, if you don't mind. Uh, did I do something wrong? You're getting really good at this interior design thing. But I've got a cool technique to show you that can take it to the next level. Remember how Wardle made the office furniture sparkle just by polishing it? Well, he showed me how to do it. With this neat trick, you can make a room's furniture shine. Get ready for Operation Sparkle. Oh, that's adorable. Step one. Get your body and your polishing duds ready with L. Step two. Face the furniture item and press A. Step three. Oh, wait. There is no step three. So that's it. If you spot any furniture that could do with an extra sparkle, try it out. Finally, we get this feature. Oh, very interesting. Well, whether or not you use it is entirely up to you, darling. All right, I want to at least try it out. Okay, hold on. Yes. I want to make things shine. Yes, I want to make things shine. I want to make the guitar shine, at the very least. Can I make the guitar shine? There we go! Look at it sparkle! I love it. Uh, you know what? You know what? That's the only thing we'll make sparkle. And I think it's ready. You did it! Thank you! You've dedicated so much of your time to my vacation home. I could not be happier, darling. Man, I'm really happy that we're getting a lot of musical uh, villagers who just they want musical themed homes. It's so easy for me to put together. Oh my dear, you've done so much for me. Now, I think I'll put my feet up and enjoy my new vacation home. Would you care to join me, darling? May I take some photos? Of course. Take all the pictures you like. I'm not actually going to take any photos. Uh, however, because I already took a photo, as you can see right there. Oh, wow, she's actually playing to the music! That's amazing! Yeah, I I mentioned this when I was decorating the exterior. I really wanted to go for the fact that she's like some, uh, some sort of online musician. But she kind of makes her own type of music. And, uh, I really just wanted to go for that feel. I also wanted to go for more of like a, uh... I don't want to say like a, a hippie theme because that's not what it is. I just, I just went for more. Uh, I really don't know how to put it. A gr I, I want to go for a greener look. That's what I'll say. I want to go for a greener look than uh, what I did with Roscoe, who's a lot more rock inspired. I can see her being more into like 70s music. So I kind of went for that feel. I think I rocked it pretty good. Also trying to go for that gr a lot of green just because it, it's just a peacock. I feel like that would work. And it seems like she's enjoying her home a lot. And I love that. Oh wow, she's immediately over by her, uh, her little recording area. That's awesome. 
Yeah, I really like Julia's home. I think that's one of the fun things that's been, you know, that's one of been great about uh, Happy Home Paradise is the fact that I'm enjoying these houses that I'm putting together. It's awesome. I get to have fun with this. Anyways, I'm done. Let's go home. Shut up, Nico. I know. I want to go home. Wait, what? I'm gonna head back. Go talk to the client real quick. I already did. Hmm, what is it, darling? I'm, I'm heading back. Thanks so much for today. I do take care of getting home, darling. It's fine. I got a monkey piloting. Is that... I think it's called steering a ship, not piloting a ship. He could be the pilot anyways. Welcome back! How did things go? I have to think you're pretty used to the work now, right? It's payday again! Here's 6,000 pokey, just for you! I want to thank you again for all the hard work you've been putting in. You're such a big help. That said... It's not good for anyone to work themselves too hard, so... It's break time! Every time I hear the terms break time... I immediately want to like go to my stream deck and hit intermission for my streams. This is not collection clearing. Go enjoy a change of pace as far uh, for as long as you like. I suggest taking a walk around the whole island. Maybe I'll go out for a stroll too. I could use the steps. Oh, speaking of exercise, there are vines on the cliffs nearby, sturdy enough for anyone to climb on them. You can really work up a sweat doing that. Try climbing with A. I bet you'll really enjoy it. Talk to you later, Taryn. Oh, she's actually gone. Uh, uh. Wordle, don't play. Don't set the place on fire, please. I have to know. Oh. Well, my curiosity was. <laughs> I didn't have to dwell on that for long. Oh, it's Aaron. You startled me. What's up? Well, I got lost in thought looking at this property. Some of the unused properties around here. Before I set up shop, someone else was working on developing the island. They built all of these. But for whatever reason, it didn't work out. And I guess they just left the properties like this? Really, I've been thinking about how we could put these properties to use. Maybe some new facilities. If we, uh, if we had even more to offer our clients, I'm sure our vacation home business would boom. I just know we could breathe a lot of life into these old properties. Maybe we should start with this one. I think it was originally going to be a school of some kind. Why not pick up where they left off? All I have to do is get a little paperwork in order and we can get to work. Okay, okay. Pump the brakes, Lottie. Sorry, I just get so excited when I think about business development. We're going to need more clients to make these facilities viable, so let's keep growing that client base. For now, help out head back to the office. Come and see me when you're ready to get to work. I knew we could use these buildings. I just didn't know how to activate it. Well, sounds like that's work for another day. For now, I'm going home. Bye, monkey!